Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I'm doing a general spread for you. I am going to get a few cards for the strongest energies around you. I'll be looking at something you've recently been through, the crossing energies, and then what is headed in. This is good for all placements for the sign of Leo. This is general. It will not resonate with everyone. Um, I just want to put a really big, quick shout out to all my beautiful Leos for supporting my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just love doing your readings. I just feel your energy. It's beautiful energy. But let's look right now at the strongest energies around you. I'm going to get three cards. Spirit guides. <sighs> three cards for the strongest energies. Thank you. Around the sign of Leo's that this reading is for. Three cards, please. Strongest energies around the sign of Leo's this reading is for please what do you want to show me uh oh we need one more card show me the strongest energy around the sign of leo's one more all right two more cards i'm not going to argue all right first card is i have the hierophant you have three you have oh my god they're all major arcanas Leo's, what's going on? I wanted to do your reading first. I'm going in the fire signs. I know it's airy season, but I just wanted to do Leo first. I don't know why. Hierophant, strongest energies. This is, um, it's Taurus energy, but I feel like you're, you're getting to this place of a higher faith of something, a higher level of knowledge. And I have the emperor showing up. This is Aries energy. We are in Aries season. I feel that that is controlling the things and people around you because you now have like a higher, a higher view of something here is what I really feel. I have the High Priestess. Four major arcanas you got, Leos. That's a lot of strong energy. High Priestess is your intuition. It's like the body of emotion of intuition, I feel, has been telling you something because the last card out is the Tower. And I feel that um, the strongest energy around you right now is, boy, who had some uh, rude awakenings because we started out with the Hierophant and that's like literally the wise owl on top of the tree. You got to a higher level of, of uh, faith to something, commitment. I feel seeing something. It's literally like co controlling situations around you. This is very strong energy. And then I feel that your intuition I think it was telling you something. It created a tower moment. What I feel could have been about a lot of things, but I feel that you've gotten here. You've gotten to this higher level of wisdom, you know, um, commitment to something, maybe probably to yourself is what I'm kind of feeling here. But let's look at something you've recently been through. Okay. And then if it sounds like your situation, it's your reading. Spirit guides. Something, my Leo's has recently gone through please one shuffle show me something my leos has recently gone through this reading is for thank you spirit guides show me recent past of leos this reading is for for the sign of leos show me something my leos has recently gone through please that this reading is for Hierophant. What else do you want to show me? Something my Leos have recently gone through. Thank you. That this reading is for. What else do you want to tell me? Anything else? Nope. Oh, wow, Leos. I have an Ace of Wands under the deck. This is where I start. Um, ooh, a lot of fire energy here. Ace of Wands, passionate brand new opportunity, and you were determined to have one. The Queen of Wands, fire energy. It's like that's the passionate, charismatic queen. I think you pulled out all the stops to get that passionate brand new beginning. I feel you attracted something here. Mm -hmm. I have the Nine of Cups. Um, I feel that this was something you've been wishing for. And that's where we're going to stop because I got a lot of cards in front of me, guys. All right, over to my left. I have the Three of Wands. I feel that um, the Three of Wands is about your ship coming in. And here it is right here. I have Aries. Aries, I mean, are you waiting for an Aries? Or are you waiting to take charge of a situation? 
literally feeling as if something's at a distance from you. I feel that it's your wish. I have the two of pentacles going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I get it now, Leos, because I have the big devil showing up. And next to that, I have the lovers. It's like going back and forth, back and forth about something you thought was a divine connection, but you feel as if it's a toxic one at that, because I have the hierophant and the strongest energies around you. And these energies are rolling into this. I have the queen of cups. Wow. The queen of love. Um, being open to love. I feel that you've been trying to forgive something, let something go because then I have the two of cups and I have the Hierophant. I mean, I always take the cards the way they're given to me. This was like on the bottom of the pile. Uh, with the two of cups here, it was something I felt that was a love connection. And I feel that you've been trying to release it with love, you know, um, divine love. It's like, that is such beautiful energy, Leos. And you have that inside of you. You know, um, you're very fiery, passionate people, but there's just a great amount of big heart in you. And I feel it had to do with a love connection because then I have the lovers. That's almost like a soul contract, a twin flame connection. But then I have that devil showing up and I felt that that's Capricorn. But this is something that always drew you in that wasn't a healthy situation. And then I have you going back and forth, back and forth. I do have big Aries showing up and I have it in the strongest energies around you. So either you were dealing with an emperor type. And that, actually, that's really what I feel. Um, the emperor can be a boss, a boss-like type personality, you know, um, just going after what they want. And the three of wands, I feel like recently in the past, you just, I think maybe you've been waiting for something to come towards you leos that you feel is your wish you know a lot of fire energy here and it's about a passionate brand new opportunity it could be with creativity too like you've been waiting for your ship to come in and with the hierophant showing up twice and last card in your recent past rolling into your current i feel that you literally have the wisdom you need around you to get to some place that's a higher belief and i feel it's with yourself that's what I feel because I have this, the high priestess with the tower around you. And that high priestess energy is strong, beautiful energy of that inner knowing. Okay, let's look at the opposing. <laughs> if you're not dealing with anyone, there's a timestamp in the description box. Crossing energies, please. Pardon me, I just got to get a little water. Crossing energies. My Leos have been dealing with. What do you want to show me, please? Leos, this is beautiful energy. You got to a place. I feel like it's, you got to a higher level of knowing something about you. All right, spirit guides. Tell me about the crossing energies. My Leos have been dealing with. What do you want to show me about the crossing energies, please? Thank you. For the sign of Leos. Crossing energies. What else do you want to show me? Crossing energies. Thank you for the sign of Leo's. Thank you. Under the deck, I have the Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. And they thought this was their wish as well. And here it is right here. I knew I was going to see this energy in theirs. I have the Emperor. Aries energy. Didn't feel that emperor was your energy. I do feel that with the ace of pentacles, the two of pentacles are going back and forth, back and forth about a golden opportunity, a brand new one, and something that is truly their wish. And I think it's you. Like, is it, should I go for something new and solid or should I go for my wish? And then I have right there, the emperor showing up again, Aries energy, boss type personality. I have the Eight of Cups with the Five of Cups, and then I have Temperance in Reverse, Sagittarius energy, but that's, this is someone who was not able to balance or blend and they lost patience. And I will tell you right now that Emperor would lose patience if he wasn't getting what he wanted. Five of Cups and Eight of Cups, this is someone who's very sad about someone walking away. Just saying. 
Okay, Wheel of Fortune under the deck, uh, Major Arcana, about something in this person's life changed. You know, when the wheel shifts, something in this person's life it was aligning to play out in their favor, but I feel that they had some lessons to learn. And then I have the Page of Pentacles with the Five of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles is eager energy about getting something started. Oh, I gotta stop. I, I wanna keep going though. You know, that Five of Wands just can't be on the same page. Everything's always coming at them. And it's this eager page of earth, like they wanted to get something new and stable started. And I feel they've been going back and forth, back and forth about their wish and something new and solid. I have uh, Leo showing up, the King of Wands. I have the Seven of Wands. It is sideways. Um, I could take it either way, but I feel like this person's teeter-tottering, teeter-tottering, teeter-tottering about standing their ground because I don't think they knew what force they were up against. I have the king, the king of wands, Leo energy. What I'm feeling. I have the two of wands. Should I move forward? I'm really stuck here with the 10 of pentacles. And then I have the knight of pentacles in reverse. This is someone who is not moving forward with their stability because they're stuck. Like they're literally stuck between those two wands about having something really stable, solid and grounded, you know, or I can't move forward. I feel like they're stuck in this place of they can't get Leo out of their head is what I'm feeling because the last card out is I have the nine of wands, someone who is in full on protection mode because they've been wounded. You know, they're protecting everything about themselves literally just standing in front of their fire energy you know and aries energy would do that and whether it was an aries or not i don't know but it's somebody who's a very powerful force to reckon with but i do feel <laughs> because you showed up in their energies and they have wish fulfillment between a golden opportunity and they're teeter-tottering back and forth just saying leos but i think you had some rude awakenings and i feel that you've gotten to this tree of wisdom i mean it's right here it brought you to the tree of wisdom about something, a greater spirituality, faith. And I think it's with yourself. I feel it's with yourself. But I'm going to get a few cards about the strongest energies around you. And then let's look at what's coming in for my beautiful Leos. Spirit incoming energies for my Leos in the next few weeks. What do you want to show me incoming for Leos? Three cards for my beautiful Leos, please. Three cards for the incoming strongest energies. For the sign of Leos, please. Strongest energies incoming. One more card, please. Thank you. <laughs> what do I have, Leos? Okay. Pardon me. Okay. I have happy, happy. And then I have not for you. I feel you've gotten to that higher fit level. I, I just feel like you've gotten to this place of your self-worth and wisdom and commitment to yourself. But I also have, it's not an, it's an unfinished symphony. It's an unfinished symphony right now. In other words, I feel that the strongest energies around you is coming in is about you in your son, being happy, happy, realizing that maybe right now some, this isn't for me even though you know it's an unfinished symphony. You know, sometimes we gotta wait for other people to grow or we have to go on a different avenue and then we meet again at the crossroads. <laughs> Let's look, all right. All right, I'm gonna do the Celtic cross tarot cards for you. Spirit guides, incoming energies. For my beautiful Leos, please, incoming. Happy, happy, that's you, Leo. Incoming energies, you're gonna be in the sun. It's telling me right now something is not for you because you have that hierophant twice. It's like you see now, you've gotten somewhere and you know deep, deep down inside, this right now is just an unfinished symphony. Spirit guides incoming for the sign of Leos, please. Hmm. Incoming energies, thank you. For my beautiful Leos, incoming energies. For the sign of Leos in the next few weeks, please. Show me why these oracles are here. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you for the sign of Leo's. What else do you want to show me? I have two cards that kind of flipped out. And then I have you in, in reverse right in front of me. And underneath the deck, I have you about to receive one of my favorite, favorite cards. I have Ace of Wands that flipped over and stuck in the deck. Big messages. The Ace of Wands is that passionate brand new beginning you recently had in the past. I feel that it's telling me to tell you that you're about to get a new one. Because I have the, you're about to receive and you're about to get a brand new one because I have judgment. I feel that it is showing me that you've really judged things in your life because you have the Hierophant twice. And you're rebirthing some new things. And I feel that you're about to receive another passionate, brand new opportunity, new inspiration. And it's a hot one. It's a hot one. I do have the Five of Swords. And then I have, oh my God, look who's under the deck just staring at me. I don't know what's going on here. But the Five of Swords is someone who is going to try to turn you around. The King of Wands in reverse is I feel that words are going to hurt you. Because underneath all that is I have the Emperor. So I do feel that you've been dealing with a force here, without a doubt. Huh. All right. All right. I hear it now. Okay. See it. Hear it. <laughs> I feel like the emperor has dumped in your energy. From the minute I picked it up in your recent past, I just didn't feel it was your energy. It is someone who's a very... I'm not, I'm not going to bash anybody. It's someone who's very self-assured, determined to conquer. And it's trying to put you in reverse and they're going to do it with words. And then I have the five of pentacles, the card of feeling left out in the cold. I have the three of wands and then I have the king of truth, the king of swords. And I feel in the incoming energies, it's that's about the king of integrity. And I feel that with the three of wands here, it's like the things that are making you feel isolated. I feel they want me to tell you that your ship is coming in. You're having a, brand new ace of wands and it's, you're going to receive it because you've achieved your self-worth and that's what i felt in this whole reading the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is the queen who has fought so hard to achieve her self-worth she's not going to give that away to just anybody and then underneath that i have a golden opportunity the ace of shields tell me to tell you to stand your ground with the seven of swords Anyone who's trying to hurt you, claim one up on you, turn you around. That's really what I feel. Oh, look who's right in front of me. The Hierophant. A brand new opportunity of love, Leo's, the Ace of Cups. I have the Page of Swords. Oh my God, look who's over to my left here. All right, hold on, hit. You guys, I got it. I get so many cards and they get, they get crazy. They get crazy. All right, let's just begin with the page of swords. So this to me is telling me that you're, you're going to start to think of something in a new way because I have the Hierophant too many times in this reading. You have it in your strongest energies. You have it in your recent past. I mean, I just feel like this is you getting there. Like I feel you really have come into this energy of knowing your self-worth and the incoming energies and it's strong. Oh, speaking of strong, I have you showing up, strength and courage. And I have it with the four of pentacles and I feel that you are how you just are in your element, you know, strength from anything or anyone that's been holding back from you. That's what I feel like you, you aren't going to take it anymore. I have the tower in reverse and I have it with a whole lot of healing. The star, the tower in reverse is telling me that, um, it's an unfinished symphony. And I think that right now we need to have hope, faith, and heal from something. I really do feel that. I, I just feel it. I have the Ten of Cups in reverse. But remember, I did have the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups. This is telling me that something that once made you and brought you the ultimate happiness, for right now it's done. Because I feel you have something new to experience. You know, Leo, the Ace of Cups with the Hierophant, it, it's... It's the big message here that you are attracting something higher right now in your life with a new beginning with love. I have the King of Cups in reverse. It's the last card out. And I kind of feel it's big water energy, but I don't think it's your energy. I feel like it's someone who has lost patience 
and they are not able to balance the heart and the mind anymore because um, I just feel like it's someone who is going to try to do something to you. I, I just feel it telling me to tell you to stand your ground and it's going to try to turn you upside down. And I just kind of feel that, but you have a golden opportunity coming in because you've achieved the Hierophant status with the Queen of Pentacles. It's like you now know your self-worth, you know, standing in truth, honesty, integrity with the King of Swords. And then I have more Aquarian. I have the star showing up, healing and mending and having faith over something that really right now with the tower in reverse, it's something that is not completely done. And it's not going to be a happy ending because you have unfinished symphony. I feel like it's telling me to tell you to let it go for now. Because you have a new opportunity of love coming in, Leos. And it, it's, it's with the star. I mean, that's absolutely beautiful. I just feel the King of Cups in reverse is someone else's energy that has, is losing this place of they can't hold out much longer, whoever it is. It's like someone who can't balance the heart and the mind anymore. Like they're losing, they're losing that energy. They're losing strength. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but with the Hierophant showing up three times, that is absolutely beautiful energy. It's, that's you climbing to a higher level of faith and commitment. And I feel it's with yourself. I mean, it's like, this is you and your energies, you know? And I just feel like the Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant, it's like you have gotten to that place of, I am so valuable and you've attracted a new opportunity of love coming in for you. Spirit Guides, it's with Aquarius Energy Star, so it could be healing from one, maybe a redo or something brand new. A few messages, please, for my Leos. about the reading today. What do you want to tell my beautiful Leos? Right here. Two more cards, please. For the sign of Leos. What do you want to tell the sign of Leos? I got three cards. Okay. So the first card is the Ace of Michael. Right there. What they want to say to you. A wonderful new idea. Saw the page of swords. Don't allow bumps in the road, people trying to turn you upside down, to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Take power. Take charge. I saw the King of Swords. <laughs> I have the Six of Ariel. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. I saw that Six of Pentacles, Leo's. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. And that is so you, Leos. You guys have such a big heart. And then I have solutions right here. Hmm. That's the card that flew up. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, Leos, for giving and healing energy. I think it's like letting go of something for right now. And I feel you have a new opportunity of love coming in because you've attracted it by getting to that Hierophant and Queen of Pentacles energy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Leos. You guys, if uh, it resonated with you and you enjoyed it, please remember to like, subscribe. If you're not, leave a comment. Thank you. Thank you, Leos. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart for all your support. I truly appreciate you. And I wish everyone many beautiful blessings. Thank you.